Hello all. Um, in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about partial pressure. Um, sometimes when we talk about our sensors like our dissolved oxygen sensors or our new uh, control uh, dissolved CO2 sensor, uh, we refer to them as partial pressure measurements. So what does that really mean? Well, let's take a look at some definitions. So if I, uh, if I look at my, um, if I look at air, and I look at all the molecules that are composed of air, uh, those molecules are bouncing around and they're exerting a certain pressure against each other. Um, and the, this is, I took the sum of all these molecules and summed up the individual pressure that they exert, uh, I would get atmospheric pressure. And this is referred to as Dalton's law. So the sum of my uh, the pressure of nitrogen, the pressure of oxygen, CO2, water vapor, all the other components that are out there would give me um, atmospheric pressure or the pressure of air there. So in general, atmospheric pressure um, is widely known at sea level as roughly 1013 millibar. So that's a fairly common uh, value that we see there. And what we're concerned with is our actual measurement. So we want to measure a single gas in this mix. So we're concerned actually about the partial pressure of CO2 or the partial pressure of oxygen. So let's take a look at some actual units of measure that you might be more familiar with. So um, there are actual partial pressure units and these are as we would expect pressure units. So kilopascals or millibars. And we can actually express these measurements as raw values of partial pressure. So that's actually what we're measuring um, when we measure with a oxygen sensor or CO2 sensor. But most people use oxygen concentration units, so they're a little bit more common. Here are some that you might be familiar with. So we have micrograms or milligrams per liter, um, which are related to the dissolved uh, oxygen in water, uh, in one liter of water. Uh, the same, those are equivalent to PPM and PPB. And these are actually raw measurements. Um, but then we have percent saturation, which is very commonly used, and percent by volume. So these are calculated units. So they factor in the value of atmospheric pressure that's stored in the sensor. So what does that mean? Well, let's actually take a look at one of our sensors here to help understand. So I'm going to click into uh, this VisiFirm MA that I've got set up here. And this sensor is currently reading uh, around 21.6% by volume. And please note, I haven't gone through a calibration on this, but that's about what we would expect uh, as far as oxygen in air and the sensor sitting in air. So let's go through and look at the settings in this sensor. So I'm going to go to measurement settings here. There we go. And this point in the sensor, I have a value for atmospheric pressure and it just so happens that we used sea level here. But what happens if I change this? Well, I'm gonna cut this in half, roughly in half. I'll cut it to 500 millibar and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna click save here. Over on the left, I can actually see the value that my sensor's reading here. And what I noticed is after I made that change, wow, my value doubled. So what actually occurred there? Well, let's go back and look at this a little bit more closely on how we actually calculate oxygen as percent by volume. So um, this value actually uses the partial pressure of oxygen, which is my measured value right here, divided by the partial pressure or the pressure of air. And in this case, that's the atmospheric pressure value that I had in there. So uh, if I wanted to do this right, uh, I would take my millibar reading, which we originally, which we have. I take my millibar reading, which we have here, divided by 1013 millibars, and that would give me 21%. So that's how the sensor arrived at that value. Now, when I took that 1013 and I cut it in half, you can see how that would actually double my percent by volume measurement. So let's go back here and change this back to 1013. And let's change my measurement unit to millibars. So that's a raw measurement. I'm gonna click save. 
and we'll take a look at my DO reading. It wasn't quite um, uh, 215, but around 211 here. So right now my sensor is reading in millibars. And let's perform that same trick. Let's take my measurement and cut it in half and let's see what happens. And what I can see here is that my actual DO reading did not change at all, no matter what I do to the partial pressure. So I can take and double this as well, let's say 2000. And I really get no fluctuation uh, in my measurement. So um, with that said, keep that in mind that uh, we have these units of measure and that some of these units of measure use a calculated value and some of the units of measure use the raw partial pressure measure measurement off the sensor. Uh, both are correct, uh, but you need to be aware that the calculated value is using a atmospheric pressure value that is stored in the sensor. And if you were at a higher or lower atmospheric pressure, you need to adjust that uh, for where you're at. Thanks so much, and I hope this was helpful.